versatility and depth highlights an experienced Marauder running back stable. Mike Jones is back from an injury that cost him six games last season, and players like David Coates, Ian Sedan, and Brent Collins were all key contributors a year ago. The players have looked sharp in camp, and that has second-year running backs coach Jonathan Ramos brimming with excitement. We got quite a few good running backs coming back. Mike Jones, Ian Sedan, David Coates, um, Frankie O'Donnell's the guy that was in camp last year. He's coming back as well. Uh, feel pretty good about what we got coming back. Um, Brett Collins, another guy that got in the mix. He's, we moved him back to running back from receiver last year. Um, so we got quality depth coming back. Um, pretty excited about that. Guys really worked hard. They got bigger. They got stronger. Um, so I'm honestly, I'm, I'm really good, really excited. We got a lot of good guys coming back. They're good blockers. They run hard. Had Ian Sedan looking real good today, running through the defense. So um, I know I'm excited. I know the offense line coach is excited, his old lineman is excited, and the quarterback is excited. Millersville Stable boasts everything from power to speed. Seemingly, there's a player with the skill set for every game situation. It works greatly because, again, you know, Sedan, he is a bigger guy. So if we want to run downhill, most likely, you know, he'll probably be in the game. Um, based off some of the plays that we run, we want to try to get outside, maybe a sweep or an option or something like that. You know, have a smaller guy, um, smaller, quicker guy like David Coates who has real quick feet and uh, Brett Collins who has quick feet as well, a little, little more speed, definitely get them in for those type of plays, pass routes as well, screen plays. So um, it definitely works in our favor compared to having 10 running backs that are all 220 that aren't as shifty. Um, so we can kind of bounce it out and get guys in for certain plays. The Marauder offense has worked almost exclusively in one-back sets for the past several years, but with the addition of Bryant Mitchell, return of Ian Sedan, and the addition of Mark Demergian, the Marauders now have the option to run with a traditional fullback. We see it factoring pretty good. You know, that's something you're right. We haven't had a bigger, true fullback. Um, Bryant Mitchell, of, of all the group, of all the backs, he's definitely the fullback type guy. He's 240 pounds. You know, six two. Um, for a freshman put him out there a couple of times with the um, first group to see what he could do, see if he could hold his own. Did a pretty solid job. Going to have to go back and watch the tape today, see how he did. Um, and then Anson Don, you know, he's 225, so he's a guy that we we get in there, try to get a look at, see if he could block, see if he's going to be physical at the defensive end, um, a linebacker. And then Mark Demerging as well. He's a guy that's, you know, a tweener as well, has a big body like Sedan. Um, but we want to get a couple looks at him at fullback to see if he could block, um, see if he could take on a, a linebacker as well. Um, but he's also a guy that, you know, if we can go downhill like Saddam, we'll put him at H-back to run downhill, short yardage, um, situation, goal line, stuff like that. Offensive coordinator Brad Mangle asks the running backs to do quite a bit. Not only does the back need to run the ball, but he has to catch the ball out of the backfield and even line up in the slot and run routes. Definitely, you know, nowadays, college, high school, NFL, you have to be able to catch the ball if you can be a good running back. Um, obviously, Mike Jones is a guy who can catch the ball. Uh, Brett Collins as well. Um, I'll say those are, are two leading guys that have the best hands. Um, James Fielder, a freshman, he's shown some pretty good hands out there. We're, we're throwing some passes out to him. So um, I'll say those three are probably the best hands on the team. The returners have the leg up for playing time, but do not discount any of the newcomers. The newcomers just showed us some good stuff. You know, Myron Miles, he's a good-sized kid, um, definitely a hard worker, asks a lot of questions, real focused, dedicated to football, um, showing some leadership out there for another classman. So, um, he's a guy that, you know we're excited about, but you know we definitely got to get more looks with him as well. Um, the other guys, Mark Demergian, James Fielder, Bryant Mitchell, um, Frankie O'Donnell, uh, those are the, you know the new backs that we have. Pretty solid group. You know I'm really excited about them. Um, whether they get playing time this year or not remains to be seen. What they could do through the remainder of camp. Um, but they're guys that at least down the road, once Mike Jones and, and those other guys, Sedan graduate, David Coach, once those guys graduate we got a good core backs coming back that should be able to replace them without us missing a step.